All right, guys. So welcome to another exciting new video, and the time has finally come. A lot of us have been waiting for MR UA13 for the Poco X3 Pro. Well, guess what? It is officially here. This is a pilot beta based on Android 12 and MR UA13. Of course, there will be a lot of bugs, and we are going to see in this video how to install it using TWRP step by step. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything, and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado. Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So, finally the time has come. MI Global Stable 13.0.3 official Android 12 based MI UI 13 is here. Now it does say clearly that this is an initial MI UI 13 release, initial Android 12 release, initial MI pilot release, initial release with many bugs. So of course there will be bugs and do remember that there is a EU version that has come out as well, but the flashing method for that ROM is different. You need to use the fast boot method to flash that ROM. So there will be a separate video coming on that and probably tomorrow there will be a review coming on this. So what do we need in order to flash this? First of all, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have a custom recovery like TWRP installed without which you will not be able to flash it because this is a pilot beta only. And you need to make sure all your data is backed up. Make sure that you've removed your face unlock, your fingerprint scanner, all the security, your MI account, Google account and reboot the device once. And important thing, you need to have more than 50% battery and your data should be backed up because everything is going to be wiped. Now, once everything is done, I prefer copying the MIUI update onto a pen drive and connecting it to the phone because we will be wiping internal storage. So I would suggest you to do that. Or what you can do is you can wipe everything, then connect to the computer, copy the MIUI 13 file and flash it. So once you've taken care of all of that, you can go ahead and boot into TWRP to flash this particular ROM. So press and hold volume up and power to enter TWRP. Okay. The moment you see the POCO logo, you can release the buttons. And let me tell you this, whenever you're flashing something using TWRP, especially on the Indian variant, right? Uh, MIUI ROM, you will get an error called safety net failed. So you will not be able to use Google Play Store. We have a workaround, safety net will still fail, but I will you know, show you a trick using which you'll be able to use the Google Play Store, right? Now we are here, let's first check that our pen drive is mounted. Yes, it is mounted, MIUI 13 is here. So go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data, internal storage and cache. If you have your files on internal storage, don't wipe the internal storage, okay? Once the wipe is done, go to install and select MIUI 13. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this is of course a MIUI ROM. So it will be two to three gigabytes. It will take a good two to three minutes to flash. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see, everything has been flashed successfully. We don't have any error. So go back to the main screen, go to wipe, type format data and type in yes. This is essential to make sure you don't get a boot loop and then click on reboot system. Now the first boot of course on MIUI will take anywhere between three to five minutes. That is the standard stuff that Xiaomi phones or Poco phones take when you format them. So please be patient while that happens. Even I am excited to see MIUI 13 on this wonderful device. This is really, really going to be exciting. Let's wait for the phone to boot up. All right, so just like that, we have booted up on the setup screen and trust me, it didn't take more than one minute to boot, which is really, really surprising because MIUI usually takes a long time. Now, this is of course a global version of MIUI 13, although this is a testing build. So there are a lot of things that would be probably broken. Let's quickly skip to the main screen and see what the experience is like. All right, now in the setup menu itself, we've got this error. The device isn't Play Protect certified, so we will fix that. That means you'll not be able to sign into Google services right now and uh, screen lock and fingerprint will skip that part as well because we will cover that on the xiaomi.eu part when we review this ROM. So let's go hit agree and the setup is complete surprisingly faster. Okay, now you'll constantly keep getting this error. This device isn't uh, Play Protect certified. You will not be allowed to sign in and repeatedly you'll keep getting this error. Even if you go to Google Chrome, it'll keep crashing on you. There you go. Right, so at this stage, what you need to do to fix the Play Store certification is there is an APK called Android Device Info. You need to go ahead and copy that to your phone's internal memory and install it using the file manager. So that's what we are going to do. So Android Device ID APK is what we are looking for. Okay, so what we've done is we've copied the Firefox APK 
to the phone's uh, pen drive and connected the pen drive to the phone and now we're going to install it and see if we can access at least Firefox. So let's actually go to USB storage, Firefox APK. Let's go ahead and install it. I can already see Material U or Monet UI theming going on over here, which is a good thing. I'm yet to switch the phone to 120 Hertz. So let's first fix this particular issue, which is quite annoying. And mind you, you should not have this problem on Xiaomi.eu. That is the reason there'll be a separate install video coming for Xiaomi.eu. Okay. We are in Firefox. So device ID APK. Okay. I'm going to download this real quick. So Firefox seems to be working just fine. So that is a good thing to do. I'll link the Firefox APK and the device ID APK in the description. Download this file, open it, go ahead and install it. Once device ID is installed, go ahead and open it. Continue. Okay. We are looking for Google service framework. Click on it and click on copy. Now go to Firefox again and go to Google uncertified, right? So we will search Google uncertified. Now over here, you need to sign in using your Google account. So I'm going to quickly sign in. Okay. Now, once you've signed in, you need to click on, I am not a robot and paste the services framework over here. All right. Once it is pasted, click on register. Wait for a couple of seconds and it will say that the ID has been registered with this particular account. Okay. Now the difficult part is done. Now you need to go to settings over here. All right. Now, once you go to settings, you need to go to apps and manage apps over here. You need to click on show all apps and you need to search for play. So look for Google play store and Google play services. So Play Store, Force Stop, Clear Uninstall Updates and Clear All Data. Okay, so Play Store, we will clear all the data. That's done. Now Play Services, same thing, Force Stop, Uninstall Updates and Clear All the Data. clear all the data from Google Play services as well. Now, once you've done that, close all the apps that are there in memory. And now go to Google Play Store. Okay. Now, as you can see, it does take two to three minutes, but we've managed to fix the Google Play Store. We will be able to sign in and use Google Play Store. Your safety net will still fail. Your Play Store will still show as not certified, but you'll be able to use the Google Play Store, the keyboard, Google Chrome, and all the other apps without them crashing. All right. Now, this will happen every time you flash the global ROM or EU ROM, not the Xiaomi.eu, European stock ROM on the Bima variant. This is just for Indian users. But now let's talk about the important part quickly. So if we go to about phone, you will see that this is MIUI 13 with a Jan February security patch, perf kernel, of course, Android version is 12. So that is a good thing. If we go to display over here and let's see what refresh rate options we have, we are on 60 Hertz. So we will switch to 120 Hertz and initial impressions. This feels really, really smooth. What about the wallpapers? Let's see, MIUI 13 wallpapers are present or not. Okay, it's crashing for some reason. Let's go here, wallpapers. Okay, yes, so MIUI 13 wallpapers are present, which is a good thing, as you can see. Not all of them are present, some of them are present, and of course, super wallpapers are not there because this device doesn't come with an AMOLED panel, so always on display is not there. Right now, apart from this, as you can see, most of the UI is looking very, very similar. 
So if we go to settings over here and if we go to additional settings, you do have memory extension, which is present. And apart from full screen display, let's go ahead and click not now. Okay. Gesture shortcuts is there. One handed mode, the new one is there. Let's go to special features now. Sidebar. So the MIUI 13 sidebar is available. And there you go. The ROM feels quite snappy. It will be interesting to review. Although this is an initial build, I've not had any major, major issues. And once the ROM settles down, you won't or you should not really have a lot of problems. But understand this is an initial build. And this for you guys is the quick step-by-step -step guide on how to install MIUI 13 global on the Indian variant or on the global variant. If you are on a global device and you have an unlocked bootloader, you will not have the device not certified issues. That is only for Indian users. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.